Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. NT Coroner believes Paddy Moriarty was killed because of a neighborly dispute in Larimer when Larimer Larrikin Paddy Moriarty and his dog went missing four years ago. There was no shortage of theories about what happened. The 70 year old had either been swallowed up by a sinkhole, suffered a medical episode on his morning walk, or, as police would quickly fear, met with foul play in a tiny town of just 13 people. Several new theories, some more far-fetched than others, emerged earlier this week when the Northern Territory coroner resumed his inquest into the former Ringeris' mysterious disappearance 500 kilometres south of Darwin. One witness told the court he overheard Larimer tea shop owner Fran Hodgitz offer his mate up to $10,000 to get rid of the old man who was still giving her a hard time. Ms. Hodgitz told the inquest she had nothing to do with Mr. Moriarty's disappearance. I can tell you now, I never ever, ever, ever paid anybody to bump Paddy off, she said. The same witness told the inquest he suspected his mate also killed British backpacker Peter Falconio two decades ago, despite the conviction of Bradley John Murdoch. Another witness, who described himself as a psychic, said two men by the names of Richard and Rue Dog told him they had shot and buried Mr. Moriarty near the town of Mataranka. Detectives investigated the claim but confirmed both men were working in Western Australia when Mr. Moriarty vanished from Larimer. This week's inquest also revealed police had secretly installed a listening device inside the bungalow of Ms. Hodgitz's live-in gardener, Owen Laurie. The scratchy audio, played in the courtroom, features a man talking and singing to himself in the months after Mr. Moriarty's death. I killerated old Paddy, the male voice says, according to detectives. Struck D him on the head and killerated him.